It's an outcry that has been in the lips of the public for some time now. But away from the controversy, what do Kenyans really stand to benefit? For those who are going to pay, starting from the September salaries, we will be in a position to give them outpatient and inpatient services as from October. We are saying that uh, you are required as a member to have a, a period of one month waiting period. The NHIF has only been footing part of the inpatient bills for its members. However, if the new rates are affected, the medical insurance deductions of all employees' income will finance outpatient medical cover in both accredited private and public health facilities across the country. NHIF will pay for dialysis, subsidize the cost of transplants in major surgical operations under the inpatient services. Those insured may similarly enjoy a string of outpatient services such as family planning, antenatal care, basic dental and optical care, and prescribed physiotherapy. Ear, nose and throat services and male circumcision will also be part of the package. Kerich says that the fund would target to pay about 80% of the money collected to benefits. Well, under the new constitution, every Kenyan has a right to the highest attainable standards of health and healthcare, and whether this increment will contribute to that achievement remains to be seen. Sheila Sendeo reporting for Citizen TV in Nairobi.